Cherry Lawn Farms. I'm, I'm fourth generation. As far as extreme weather goes, uh, yeah, I do believe that <laughs> climate change is happening. Growing up on this farm, I've lived here now for 44 years. It certainly appears to me that we are seeing more extremes in our weather. In the past five years, we've seen two major hailstorms and a major freeze event that to us shows that climate change is happening to some extent. I, uh, I moved to the United States in 1986, and certainly it's been a surprise over the last few years how much earlier the seasons have become in general to me. And, and we've certainly moved our bloom time forward probably at least five to seven days, and in some years a lot more than that. How much of this we can attribute to climate change is still a little bit debatable to me personally, but there's certainly a sense that, that things are changing here and that, that the climate is getting uh, a little more unpredictable. And the risk of, of early season and early bloom seems to be greater and greater every year. The chances of a warm spell in March, an extended warm spell, seem to be much larger now than they were 10 years ago. The big historic freeze that we've seen since, I guess, the 1930s. We decide we want to do something to try to help protect our crop. And the wind machines right now seem to be probably one of the best ways of, of protecting your crop. It got to minus 12 uh, one time here this winter, and the machines were running, and it was like minus seven. So that could be the difference between <laughs> saving your, your fruit and, and not. The cost of doing business today, you can't afford not to have a crop. So you have to do things, you know, to protect yourself. And, and uh, this is just one way of doing that. Uh, there's, <laughs> there's not too many alternatives. I would say in general our farm's definitely vulnerable to extreme weather events, it, it always has been. We're at the mercy of Mother Nature no matter what we do. The question is, has the frequency increased and the risk? I'd certainly say there have been a lot of extreme instances of weather over the last 30 plus years here. We've had a number of very large hailstorms, but certainly the frequency of that has been greater since 1998. One of the things that, that drives what you do in terms of risk management is the profitability of your business. And a profitable business can afford to do things to mitigate risk, whether that be invest in frost machines or try to choose better orchard sites or add overhead cooling or overhead irrigation, frost protection. Through the 2000s, the orchard business has generally been pretty healthy. So I certainly see an uptick in in investment in risk management. Anywhere we have reasonable sites or good orchard sites, we've survived any frost that we've ever had, including 2012. And we look at it as a company strategy that investing in the highest possible fruit sites or orchard sites has just as big or if not greater economic impact than, than trying to mitigate a site that's gonna be at risk in years when it's cold. We haven't thought at any great length yet about wind machines here along the lake. We've only seen one major frost event now in the past 40 years that greatly reduced the crop. We've seen some that have nibbled away at part of it, but only one that was very severe. I'm sure if we were to see another event here in the next year or two or three years that greatly reduced the crop, then we would have to look at wind machines. I believe that there is a psychological impact on us. It makes us uh, very nervous about the future with where we're going. Um, it makes us look at crop insurance in a di di different light to try to hedge our bets on with, with the cost of in inputs today into growing a crop. It makes it very difficult with the uncertainty of the weather events that we have. You know, once crop insurance came out, it kind of changed the game a little bit. That helps you sleep at night and that's 
You know, we, we, we purchase crop insurance not to try to make money on it, but to help make ends meet. Certainly, multi peril insurance can help in years of distinct disaster and actually make years that, that could be very, very bad for you, actually years that you could not necessarily thrive in, but you can at least survive through. So um, we're big believers in that. The premiums are getting more and more expensive, but that's probably a reflection of how many claims are being made. The strategies that are being used at the moment to lower your risk are definitely trying to trying to preserve the economic viability of fruit farms and businesses in general in Western New York. Not all climate change is negative. So increasing the number of heat units per season has a positive impact on what we can do for fruit size, potentially yield and return bloom, tree health. So there's always gains and, and balances with, with anything. We certainly have a little bit higher risk, but we also possibly have a slightly higher potential in terms of yield and, and value.